How's it going, everybody? This is the JE Dubs, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 4. Uh, since last time, I grinded quite a bit, got some money, uh, got some items to help me sell, uh, 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 sold all those off to get the money that I, need, that I needed. I only needed about $5,000 to get to the cave. Uh, what you want to do is you want to hire the uh, two guys that I showed in the last video. This guy's name is Strom. He's a pretty good fighter. Uh, he has lower defense than you. Both, both of the characters have low defense, lower defense power than you do. So, uh, yeah. But he has good HP, he has good attack power, as we were gonna find out right there. See? Good attack power, good HP. Uh, if you hear some stuff in the background, uh, don't, like, try, try to, try to drown it out as, as much as you can. I'm shooting this in a, middle of the night at a uh, launch mat, so I do that because I get better acoustics through my microphone. But yeah, so. And here's the other guy, Laurent. Laurent is a little more money to uh, hire. That's only because he has a better skill set. Uh, he knows he knows heal, sleep, and fireball, so those are three solid spells that he knows. Uh, he has... He has some good HP, he has the Venom Knife too, so he can paralyze enemies by attacking them, but most, for the most part he's just going to waste MP in fights. Which is alright, because I I'm only hiring them because I don't want to run the risk of getting killed in the cave before getting all the treasure there. You want to get all the treasure there. Yeah, I'm really sorry about the lame-ass infomercials that are playing here. That, and it's pretty loud, too. The owner of the fucking place, like, has it it's to where, like, the fucking TVs resonate through the entire place. But, hopefully my talking and the uh, music of the video of the game uh, drowns it all out, but who knows. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why the encounter rate is so high. Everything about this chapter sucks, even the fucking encounter rate. God. Jesus, balls. Are you serious? Alright. Here's the cave of the, of the silver statue. Uh, it's not the most complicated cave, although, like, it can kind of trick you. Oh shit. See, yeah, it's. Uh, I really hope the uh, infomercials aren't gonna drown it, drown out the uh, my talking. I really hope not. But if it does, it's just gonna be a really funny ass video. Yeah, the encounter rate in this cave is really, really, really unbearable. Almost as unbearable as the stupid choir shit that's playing right now. Shut up over there. Anyway. Uh, the enemies in here are similar to the ones in, uh, Chapter 2. Around the, uh, Frenor, the, uh, South Cave of Frenor. And the Bazaar, so. You can expect, uh, fly throbes, vampire bats. Uh, ducks bills. Ducks bills, I guess, are from Chapter 1, but whatever. The point is to get to those, uh, to that downward staircase. Uh, where those two, uh, statues, where those two sword statues were. And to do that, we're gonna have to bring the water up there. God damn it. I don't know why they play it so loud. The TV, it's, just, it's horrible. Oh my god. Yeah, so if I'm distracted, I'm sorry. Here's the switch, right here. Awesome. You pr uh, basically, you press on that switch, it's going to drain out all the water. Now, a note about the treasure chests in this cave. You can save them for Chapter 5, if you want. I'm going to... I get them all in this... Hold on. I get them all in this chapter to speed up the chapter, because... Ten, you're going to need to get $10,000 on your own, through your own devices, and if you just rely on the items you get from, uh, from random battles, 
it's going to take you a really long time. And I mean a really long time. Like, through cheating, it took me like a good half hour. So, like, unless you want to do that, go that route, and cheat. Cheating being, like, if you're using an emulator, you could do save state, and then get the drop that you want from the enemy. But, I'm just getting all the treasures. <clears throat> in the cave. And then I'm just gonna sell them off to get the 10,000 that I need to buy the... To buy the shop. Right, we're almost there. See, now the water has risen up to the next level. That Those two treasure chests that the guy has right there, that he's, uh... Near that guy. He's already taken stuff from him, so... Those, those are gonna be empty. Don't even bother opening them. This one contains a... Bronze sword? Thank you. 